Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to uh, show everyone uh, how I make that marinara sauce. A lot of people were asking me uh, if it came out good, and yeah, it came out delicious. It takes about five minutes to make, and it's real easy. So I'm going to show you the ingredients, and then I'm going to show you me making it. So if you bear with me, you'll see how easy it is. Uh, you need these ingredients, guys. Uh, you need olive oil, garlic powder. I use Italian blend. Uh, seasoning it's like uh, oregano with a whole bunch of other herbs but they say you can use just regular oregano if you have and onion powder and of course a small can of tomato sauce now uh, tomato sauce and marinara sauce are not the same okay tomato sauce is just regular tomato so if you're just gonna use that and put some salt and pepper in, it's not gonna taste the same at all so make sure you use the can of tomato sauce that you're using does not say low sodium okay makes a big difference you just get the regular small can of tomato sauce now this of course is for one person what I'm gonna show you it only makes enough tomato sauce for one serving so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you me making it and if you bear with me gotta turn around here I actually set this up so while I'm cooking it while I'm making it you guys can see this let's see if that works I turn around like that. Hold up. Yeah, that should work. I hope. A little bit this way, maybe. Maybe. Oh, no, we don't want to go that far. <laughs> okay. Needless to say, this is not the Food Network, so got to bear with me. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is you want to get just a couple of uh, tablespoons. We've got a couple of tablespoons here of uh, the olive oil okay so I'm using the olive oil maybe just pour it in it doesn't really have to be exact obviously but um, olive oil is expensive so olive oil is kind of expensive don't use regular vegetable oil because it really does make a difference you want the best ingredients so just about you know just to coat the pan maybe like that not that much just enough to uh, make sure you have enough like frying for the garlic and the oregano and stuff so you put that back just a couple of tablespoons for that and then you want uh, the garlic powder now I use, make sure this is dry I use uh, one teaspoon a teaspoon of garlic powder that's more than enough for one serving so I use a teaspoon of garlic powder put it right in there Okay. Look how quick this is. You're going to be amazed at how fast this is to make. And that's why I make it. This <laughs> one's so fast. And then you got um, this array Italian blend thing. Um, I use a teaspoon. If you want, it's depending on people's taste. Maybe you want a teaspoon and a half. I use a teaspoon. Got a teaspoon left. There you go. Teaspoon. Oh, that moved. Sorry. <laughs> so that happens you're not working on the Food Network. So, then you got onion powder. Okay. Where's my little spoon? What did I do with the spoon? Then you got onion powder. Same thing. Just one teaspoon of onion powder. Um, this really brings out the flavor. This is really the secret, I think. This really brings out the flavor of the whole thing. And uh, then what you want to do is pretty much turn the uh, heat on the uh, on this thing. Wrong one. Turn the heat up to about medium. Okay, medium. And stir it. You know, stir it a little bit. Now stir now before yesterday I used a little butter that depends on if you want to use butter or not I use I, I can't believe it's not butter so if you use what you want it doesn't really matter you can use unsalted butter my my uh, suggestion and you just stir this up for about two minutes or so until you smell the uh, aroma of the uh, oregano and the uh, and the garlic you don't do use too much you know not too much. You don't have to do this a long time. And then, once that's done, 
after the two minutes, what you want to do is just stir in the tomato sauce. And you'll have really, really good tasting marinara sauce. So that's it. It's just olive oil, garlic powder, oregano, and onion powder. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. It's the simplest simple can get. So let me just do this for about five minutes. Keep stirring it or else it'll get stick. It'll, also, it'll stick to the pan if you don't keep stirring it. So... And you'll soon smell the aroma of all these really, really good herbs. And so hold on. If you don't start boiling, you want to lower it. You don't want to burn it. You don't really want to burn it. Okay. You hear it sizzling. For two minutes. And once that's done. You can smell the garlic already. It really has a good flavor to it. Now I uh, had this with pasta. You can add any pasta you want, really. You can make pasta. Uh, I make linguine. See, I have linguine over here already. I got all my linguine. I don't know if you can see that. I got about three ounces of linguine. So, that's what I do. And I'll make the linguine later. It's about 12 minutes boiling for 12 minutes. That I don't think anybody needs it any directions with if you can't make spaghetti or pasta on your own then you don't belong in the kitchen so so that should do it that's about about two minutes and you could smell the aroma already now what you want to do is take the uh, is take the tomato sauce of course open the can now I said before guys that you have to see I'm opening the can <laughs> you have to have the tomato sauce with the salt okay do not get the one that says low sodium very important and you want to just pour it in when it sizzles you know ooh, sometimes it splatters so you got to be a little careful and then mix it up very very thoroughly mix it and wow this smells good this smells really really good and then mix all the ingredients up Put it on low, put it on low, well you can shut it actually, you don't even have to keep it on low, because I'm not going to eat until tonight, right, but I'm getting this ready, so I don't have to do it a little later, and I'll show you what it's supposed to look like, so when you're done with all that, my tomato sauce, my marinara sauce is now done, how long did that take, that didn't take long at all, now of course like I said you can add butter, or you can add, I can't believe it's not butter. It all depends on your taste. You can experiment. I've experimented a while already. And to tell you the truth. And then you can taste it. If it needs a little bit more salt, you can add salt. Uh, yesterday I had a little bit more uh, onion powder. You know. And, oh, pepper. I forgot almost. If you want, you can add pepper too. Pepper also. I add pepper to this. Just a little bit of pepper. Nothing big. Okay. And that's it. You got marinara sauce ready for tonight. So that was my uh, homemade marinara sauce. You now have the secret recipe. It's not really a secret. It's actually on the internet. <laughs> if you Google it, I typed in simple marinara sauce. And that's how I make my marinara sauce for my pasta. Take it easy, everyone. Happy eating. Bye.